Mac Mondays. Today, we discuss VirtualBox. Hey everyone, welcome to PC Simplest. My name is Zach, and today we're discussing VirtualBox for Mac OS X. What is VirtualBox? VirtualBox lets you create a virtual environment of pretty much any other operating system other than Mac. I mean, you could put a Mac OS, another Mac version on there, but the primary purpose of the VirtualBox is, in my opinion, to put Windows on your Mac and run it as a virtual machine. What this does is it allows you to boot up your Mac, you're logged into your Mac OS, and you want to boot up Windows, so you just click on VirtualBox and you start it, and bam! you can start a Windows operating system from your Mac in a separate box or in a separate you know, screen. If you swipe left and right, we discussed that before. But anyway, um, it's awesome, it's amazing because maybe there's something on you know, um, your Mac that you really need Windows for. Well, you don't need to dual boot. Dual boot is old news. No more dual booting your, uh, your MacBooks or whatever to have an option for Windows or for your Mac. You're always gonna boot into your Mac and you're gonna open up your virtual box and you're gonna start your Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever and be about, go about your day, go about your business. So what do we need to install VirtualBox? Well, let's get started. Uh, first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna open up uh, you know, our, our Google Chrome, your Safari, whatever, whatever you prefer. And you're just gonna go to VirtualBox org and from there it's gonna say download VirtualBox 5.0 here's a pre-requirement you need OS X yeah let's I should have said that from the get-go I'll put that right away in the comments comments you need uh, virtual or you need OS X installed so make sure you're up to date on the latest operating system and install VirtualBox you could usually go back and find old versions but if you are able to upgrade to Yosemite do so uh, anyway what we're going to do here is look for VirtualBox 5.04 for OSX OS hosts. Sorry, I'm a little sick, and that's why we missed Mac Monday yesterday. I've been down with the sickness for the last week. So, anyway, back to our video here. Uh, we're going to click on the AMD64 next to the OSX hosts, and we're going to go ahead and click Save. It looks like we're good to go on VirtualBox, so we're just going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. And I've yet to actually install it on my operating system, so uh, this is kind of exciting because part two of this video, I'll be installing Windows 10 on my MacBook Pro, and that's basically what, where all of my Windows 10 videos are going to come from uh, from here on out. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and follow the instructions here. Double click on this. This package will run a program, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go ahead and continue. I'm not going to go over each and every step saying yes, no, 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 no. just follow along with me. You're going to hit continue a lot of times and hit yes and say install, whatnot. And once we get to um, basically the configuration, that's where we will really get into detail on what we're going to be doing. So, um, wow, it's actually going to take a minute to do this, huh? Nah. Install time remaining about five minutes? I doubt that. Anyway, um, oh, there we go, successful. So close. So now under applications... We are going to look for VirtualBox, and we'll just go ahead and double-click VirtualBox, and welcome to VirtualBox. So now we can click on New, and basically for this, what we're going to do, because I'm going to be installing Windows 10, uh, you may have Windows, here we'll go over the, the versions really quick. These are all the different versions of Windows that you can throw on there, and it even goes back as far as Windows 3.1. That's crazy, I know. But anyway, if you have Windows 7, make sure you have your Windows 7 installed disk. Maybe you throw it on a thumb drive. We've discussed how to uh, basically put stuff on a thumb drive if you want Windows 10. We have a video on installing Windows 10 onto a thumb drive. So make sure you have your install media for this because you absolutely need it. You can download the ISOs from a Microsoft website. You just have to do a quick Google search and you will find it. And then you can create a bootable thumb drive or a bootable CD. If you have a MacBook Air, obviously you're going to need to create a bootable thumb drive. And hopefully soon we'll do a video on creating just any type of bootable thumb drive for any ISO or any uh, operating system. Anyway, we're doing Windows 10, so we're going to name this one Windows 10. And we're going to do Continue. 
And basically right here, it's gonna, we wanna select the amount of memory. Now you really need to pay attention how much memory you have installed on your laptop. You may have only four gigs of memory, and I would suggest if you only have four gigs of memory, that you wanna only allocate two gigs to your virtual box, to your virtual machine. If you have eight gigs, definitely go ahead and go with the four gigs. I have 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm still only gonna go with uh, about um, four gigs because that's really, and we're, we're going to go a little, let's just go a little over. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, two is the least that you can go. So make sure that you at least have two. If you can swing four or more, if you really think you're going to be utilizing this virtual box in windows, go ahead and swing more. Um, but I'm, like I said, I have 16 gigs of Ram on this machine and I'm only going to do four gigs. So anyway, we're going to hit continue. And we're going to create a virtual hard disk now. Create. And we're going to do this VDI, the virtual disk image. And we're going to hit continue. And we want a fixed size. And basically, it can allocate space depending on how big your hard drive is. And it might utilize a ton. But really, you want to do a fixed size because you don't want this, this virtual box to just blow out of control and have tons of you know data being used and whatnot so do a fixed size and the recommended size that i would tell you is going to be probably about 40 gigs so it really if you did like i said if you think you're going to be using more space on this thing then go ahead and bump it up a little bit but really the os is going to take up about 30 uh, maybe like 32 with windows updates and stuff like that i on the other hand won't do all the windows updates because basically what I'll be doing won't be too much. I, I believe that actually the Windows 10 image size is a little bit smaller. I'm thinking back to Windows 7. But anyway, 40 gigs will be fine, so I'm going to hit Create. And now it's going to be creating everything. And this is where I'm going to stop because in Part 2, next Monday, I'm going to put a video out on installing Windows 10 on here. So this is how you install VirtualBox. And now we're getting started. So check back for video number 2 on installing your Windows whatever operating system on your MacBook. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.